Welcome to One Mind Zen. Tonight's Dharma talk is given by Hangdal Chita. So I'd like to set the stage for you here. We've got the student union building at a major university overlooking the the quad and the campus. And there's two undergrads sitting there, staring out the windows in lounge chairs, arguing about the state of ultimate reality. And they just came from a class to discussing these items and they're they're having trouble getting around them and the one says okay so look see the flagpole there out on the quad there's a flag on it and it's flapping around the flag is moving i don't care what you say what the professor says what anybody says flag's moving the other student says no i don't i don't think you're getting it it's not flagged wind is moving Flag is just there. Wind is moving. It's it's the wind that's the ultimate reality in this situation. They're going back and forth, and it just so happens that three professors are on their way through the student union, going to a faculty meeting. Professor Huining, Professor Wu Min, and Professor San. And they're walking by, and they they hear these students arguing about this, and they they look at each other and say, "Okay, we we've got to deal with this." They've obviously totally missed the point, and and yeah, we need to go straighten them out. So they they walk up, young man, we we need to straighten this out because you're obviously not understanding what we're talking about. Yes, says Professor Huining, it's not the wind, and it's not the flag; it's mind that's moving. And they look at him. And the other two professors look at him, too. And they both go, what? And Wu Min says, it's, it's not wind, it's not the flag, and it's not the mind. What's the matter with you? How, why do you think it's the mind? And Professor San says, nah, there is no mind. Where is this mind? How could mind be moving or not moving? You can't show me the mind. And Wu Min pipes up again, and he says, you've missed it talking about it. Now the ancestors are crying. We've wasted the tuition of these students. What do you mean? At that point, our buddy Sid wanders up. He just scored some free coffee over at the cafeteria, and he walks up. And he's, wow, hey, old dudes, you know, wind, flag, mind, moving, not moving, whatever. What's the point at which all those things meet or don't meet? And then he wandered off to go find a co-ed to hang out with. The undergrad sat there and wondered why they spent their tuition on the class. And the three professors went arguing down the hallway. It's often like that in these cases. If, if you read them and you read the commentary and you read the thoughts and read the different teachers. But what is the point of intersection? That's what I'm interested in talking about tonight. These events, these moments, the flag flapping in the wind in the mind where nothing is moving and everything is moving. The moments that we talk about no attainment with nothing to attain except all bodhisattvas attain it. It's where subject and object meet without conception without thought without words without analysis without explanation that's where we get hung up we have to explain it but subject and object just meet and neither they nor it are it so to give you an example we talk a lot in, in Zen about the, the stories of, of the cart, you know, the famous cart, the ox cart. It's rolling along. And we use the, the image of the wheel to represent lots of things. What's the true value of the wheel? You could say it's the empty space in the hub where it connects to the axle. Or maybe it's the outer space on the rim where it connects to the ground. 
But do the wheel and the axle do anything? No, because the axle connects to the cart. And the harness connects to the oxen by way of a harness that has eye hooks or eye rings and hooks. And all of these things interconnect. And it's the point of connection, the subject and ob object, the motion and stillness that make the cart move forward. Without the interpenetrations of these things, without all these connections, there is no cart, there is no ground, there is no moving, there is no rider, there is no driver on the cart. And with all the interconnections, they all are, but they are all. There's not a separation. The hub is nothing. The hub is an empty void where objects connect. The space in the middle of the ring on the harness is nothing. It's an empty void where the harness and the clip connect. Mind, wind, flag. Without thinking, without naming, without discussing, without calling them this, that, here or there, moving or not moving. What is the point of intersection at which that which is seen is that which is seer? Neither exist independently, and what does exist is something completely other.